Hi, good evening. How are you? I am doing well. How are you? What about you? I am very well. Thank you so much for asking. So, all right. So, how was your day? My day was good. It was as usual. Good. That's great. Okay. So, I hope you are ready for today's session. Yes, I am ready. Perfect. All right. So, do you have any specific topic in mind that you would like to discuss about? No, I did not think about it. I just come and join. Okay, no issues. I think, but this is our first meeting, so let's start with a quick introduction. Let me introduce myself first. So, um, as you can see, my name on the screen, I'm Ramya, and uh, I live in uh, Delhi. I work as a teacher in a school here in Delhi, and I teach English for. Uh, high school students okay so that's a little bit about me so what about you yeah my name is subhash pal and i live in guwahati in the okay. state of assam and okay. here i live with my family in my family i have two children they are grown up okay. and i am here doing service in a government office and oh, okay. i just want to um, Learn uh, spoken English, so mm -hmm. I have joined Clippingo mm -hmm. to learn spoken English. All right, perfect. Okay, so uh, I think you are in Clippingo for quite uh, some yeah, time now. Yeah, yes, yes, you're right. Right. So, how has your experience been here? The experience is very good. I, uh, in this journey, I have met so many. Tutors from different places, and all mm -hmm. of them have been very good, and not only uh, very good in teaching, they behave well. They mm -hmm. always uh, encouraged me and made me feel comfortable while speaking to them. So yeah, it has been a very nice experience. That's great. That's great. All right. Okay. So. Um, Okay, so let's let's talk about um, something then. So probably, um, what are your interests? So based on your interests, we could probably talk about a particular topic. Mm, interest, just only I uh, I always uh, try to learn new words and I want to use them in my day to day life while speaking with others. But the thing is mm -hmm. that hardly get a chance to speak with others in English because here. The environment is not like that, that I get a chance to speak with others in English. So this is the only mm. platform where I can speak with the tutors. And um, mm. sometimes at office, yeah, uh, with our boss, Police. sometimes very mm. rare, actually. So where okay. I can speak. So if you ask me, this is the only thing that I just want to speak more and want to get the fluency. The confidence, mm -hmm. yeah. After joining Clippingo, there earlier it was I was not that much confident, but now I can oh, feel a bit confident. Yeah, that's what I am just trying to grab on this language. Right, that's great. So instead of mentioning that um, earlier I was not that much confident, you can just say earlier I was not confident enough. So earlier I was not confident enough. Okay. Yeah. So usually the thing here is we don't use the word much for uncountable nouns. So okay. much is used only for countable nouns. For example, if I say uh, money, if I, I I can say that I don't have much um, money with me, which means I, I'm 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 having a shortage of money. So I I don't have much time. I can count time. I can count money. So much is used only with countable nouns. But when you're talking about... Um, but uh, uh, I think this is the other way around. I mean, when it comes to countable, we don't use much. We use only many when it uh, comes to... If something is there that we can count, say many of yeah. us. And, but when it is uncountable, like sugar, milk, in those cases, we use much. Isn't it? So, but when it comes to, I, I'm talking about instances like time. So, if you you don't say I don't have many time, you say I have I don't have much time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 
uh when it comes to um rice or sugar like you said we we say um we we really can't count them right so we say uh, i don't have uh, I, i can have a little rice yeah so yeah. words like that so they are called as determiners so determiners are used in those places uh, to describe basically the quantity of uh, the nouns that we are talking about in the sentences mm mm-hmm. right so that is why when it comes to um uh, you know adjectives like uh, you know or, or confidence we don't really use the term much in the in those sense so okay. we can avoid that yeah all right okay uh okay so so since you are uh, associated with an organization so let's probably have a conversation about uh, uh team work and individual work if you're yes. comfortable with that topic we can discuss about team work and individual work okay yeah all right okay so yes so what do you think is um good for an organization is it necessary for the employees to work as a team or is it okay if each indu- if each employee works um his own part and he's done with it so which do you think better suits an organization or benefits the organization it depends on uh, the work that we do so uh, as a regular uh, work so we do mm-hmm. whatever uh, we have been assigned with so we do mm-hmm. our part every day but at times it so happen that we need uh, contribution from others so we need cooperation from other colleagues so their team works is very much needed so uh, everybody who is in the say particular assignment is given to a particular they made a particular team actually that this team should uh, do this part of this work so at that time it is very much required and all the members in that team uh, their cooperation uh, their contribution is very much required and if they do not uh cooperate as such so the work will fail so it is very much required right so yes i definitely agree with you so uh because um it's very essential for us to work um as a team and to be in consensus with each other so that we all are working towards the same goal so that will definitely help us to be on track and to make sure that we finish our deadline we meet our deadlines um at the right time so yes in that way it is uh, good um what do you think are some of the disadvantages of working in a te- in a in a team uh is there in a team depends on uh, uh, i mean the person that uh, you are working with mm. if there is some issues they don't like and suppose it happens i particularly i think uh, i don't know but i just have an idea after uh, reading somewhere or something that in private companies particularly because there what happens that according to your uh, work you can reach a particular level with your talent but which doesn't happen in case of government offices so mm-hmm. however much you try you have a separate route you have to go through that route and you'll reach up to that level only after finishing that route but in case of private company so what happens that in a team so everybody wants to prove their metal so mm-hmm. that they can reach that and they want to uh, get uh, the attention of the higher authorities mm-hmm. and in that way they may not uh come with the right intention to help in the team maybe right. it may not be true i mean i may be proved wrong but it may so happen because uh, if i uh, uh help in the team and the leader of the team so he will be in a position he will uh, get the attention so you will get promotion early so other persons may not like it they may mm-hmm. want to uh, let him down so this may right. so happen 
Hmm. Yeah, where occasionally, yes, we do hear of such things happening in uh, corporates and organization. Yes, uh, I agree with you. Um, one um, disadvantage, one main disadvantage that I see is uh, in a team, you'll have um, people of with different caliber. So yes. not everybody is extremely good. At the same time, not everybody is extremely bad. So you will have people of different caliber. Uh, sometimes, not always, but sometimes what happens is um, the people who do a lot of work are exploited or are you know they are, they are taken um, for granted yes. because you know there's this assumption that you give any work it'll be done. Yeah. So right. in some cases. Um, you know, exploitation of people who really work hard, that happens. And I've seen that happen, um, yes, in, in some workplaces. So that is something that I find as a biggest disadvantage of um, working in groups or working in a team. Yeah, okay. So um, what do you think are some of the advantages of working individually? Because uh, uh, advantages they are that particularly when you are doing alone, the major factor is time. So you cannot manage um, that manage the time on your own. So if you get the help from others in a team, so everybody mm -hmm. will come and put uh, their effort. So whatever could be achieved within one month, you can achieve it within. 20 or 25 days, if not more. So these are the main things. And in a team, you will get, as you said, that everybody may not be in the same level. There would be some good, I mean, as, as per quality, there will be higher or less. So when all the all of them get together, so mm -hmm. definitely there is a chance to get a, a good result from them. Mm. Right. Um, yes, that's that's true. Um, one advantage that I see uh, is um, it improves an individual in terms of having a proper routine or a self-discipline. Uh, because if the person is given a particular task, so it's their responsibility to complete it by hook or crook. So yes. it's necessary for them to um, probably jot out a plan, make sure that um, they finish the task before uh, before the deadline and be ready with it. So that requires a lot of planning and that definitely requires a lot of self-discipline uh, from the individual side as well. Because, of course, he might ask for help and he might get help. But uh, because the complete responsibility is entrusted on one particular person, I think it gives them the confidence and it gives them that uh, drive to like, finish the task somehow so that is one advantage uh, that i see when um, when we work uh, individually right um, so what are your thoughts on this i mean you are asking about individually yeah yes it is true because uh, when you are working on a team you may depend on others that okay i may not be doing this but the other person he he will do it so mm. that that thinking might come while doing work in a team but when you are alone so the whole attention is on you and you will be the responsible if anything goes wrong you will be uh, there to be blamed so you will be very much cautious while doing your work you will do it meticulously so right. that uh, you are on the right track mm. um, that is what the advantage and in this way, you will get the confidence, you'll gain confidence and mm. in later parts when you'll see that, oh, I can do it alone. So uh, I have got this confidence and later when another tax will be given to you with higher responsibility. So you will definitely able to do that with the confidence and that will make you and that will put you in an advantageous position to become a leader in future. Absolutely. Organization, yeah. Mm, that's, right. that's right. Okay. 
so okay now let's move on to a different topic so how much do you like uh, playing or watching sports mm yeah once it uh, i was uh, i was a, a bit what to say watcher of uh, games particularly cricket okay. so okay. there was a time when i spent whole day watching cricket mm. as you know that cricket games it involves the whole day if it is a test mm. match or even if it's a 50 over game mm. but nowadays you know i just don't watch much so okay yeah i have stopped watching because i sometimes i feel that i am wasting uh, much uh, too much time mm-hmm. uh, so i could have done so many other works uh, mm. productive works without watching those games so yeah now i have stopped watching <laughs> there, uh, do you watch cricket yes of course i i do uh, but not um, i don't watch regularly but if there's any important game then probably uh, i watch for some time because i'm i'm quite busy i'm i'm occupied most of the times and yeah. um, just like you i i would like to use my time uh, productively by doing something so i am involved with a lot of uh, things so it's not just my uh, school job or this yeah uh, even though if you want to so you can do it because you are occupied yeah. with so many work yeah that's right right so if it's something really important probably um, if again if the country that i'm supporting for wins then probably i would watch the highlights <laughs> the next day but it's been a long time since uh, i actually sat and watched a live match going on so probably um i mean the next week i think ipl is starting so if yeah that's what i was <laughs> going to say that today what happens one of uh, my colleagues that alex uh, was telling me that mm-hmm. uh, ipl is going to begin after a few days so mm. we can watch so it yeah. remind me <laughs> <laughs> i think we have there are there are some holidays coming up in the month of april so that will definitely help us to like uh, get some time to watch something in our free time so yeah probably i i do watch cricket and uh, i watch a lot of um, uh, olympic games because i am i really like um, uh, to watch olympics but uh, yeah but on on one hand i do feel sad that uh, you know india is doesn't um, get as many medals as other countries but yes i think every year we are progressing so every year we see that the number of medals that we get um are, are going up so i mean every time when an olympic uh, event happens but i still think that a lot of um improvement in um, uplifting the standard of sports in our country um should be looked into so that is something that i want to discuss with you so what do you think about the standard of um sports in india how do you think uh, we can improve it so that uh, when it comes to world level games um not just focusing on cricket but on other games we could also uh, be a participant as well as a winner in the future yeah as you said uh, olympic we have been participating in olympic from a long ago so mm. but the result is not as uh, that we want it to be hmm. the thing is that uh, in other countries uh, say in china so they always uh, list the me- medal tally so hmm. what happens they make their children uh, into sp- uh, they put their children into sports uh, from very young age and hmm. uh, it always their uh, government comes up with all the facilities all the infrastructure that is required to build their um, build them so mm. these are the things that we need also to mm. make our children to reach to such a goal here mm. in india only the individuals uh, with their own efforts they could reach to that certain level mm. Mm. they are not getting all the facilities that is required even i have heard that sometimes uh, that uh, it is in asian games or in olympics also in some individual game they have to arrange their own money to go to that country uh, right. to participate 
in that particular mm -hmm. event. So we need to take care of all those things. They yeah. should not, I mean, you see here in India, because of the, uh, under, because we are an underdeveloped country, we have to think about our livelihood also. So in other right. countries, it is not like that. They don't have to think other, uh, they, they all the time they engage in sports only. Mm -hmm. So here it is not like that. So if we can provide all the facilities uh, to our children, yeah, there is no reason that they cannot reach when other countries, the people from other countries are uh, gaining all those results. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I strongly believe that um, ki definitely kids um, should be motivated to take up different sports. Again, it completely depends on their interest as well. So uh, both parents and uh, teachers should motivate them to participate in a lot of physical activity because after a certain point of time, um, both parents and teachers, we only force students to like focus on their academics. Yes. So the shift com the completely is on the side of academics. Uh, and uh, very rarely we find uh, students still engaged in uh, sports activity once they are 13 plus. So um, we, I think we also have a huge role to play in making the students uh, feel more comfortable. And uh, if they are interested to choose a career or choose a path in any sports activity for that matter, I think um, we should be able to like support them in all possible ways and uh, um, give our support to them wherever we could and help them uh, bring glory to the country. I think that's very important. It's both uh, the response, it's a shared responsibility of the school and the parents, I would say. Yes, yeah. but in our case, what happens in our, particularly in the middle class family, that mm. We always think that when our children will grow up and they will, after finishing their education, they will join a, a job. And that is mm -hmm. all. Our thinking is only on that particular uh, fixed one. That, mm -hmm. And we don't take the risks. We don't uh, let them go and play because we think then if they do not study, so they will they won't be able to do good results and they will mm -hmm. lag behind in the competition with other uh, co-students so this right. is another thing so we should let them play and do their uh, and particularly there are uh, the children who are interested mm. in sports in particular sports uh, somebody may like to play football somebody may like to play cricket so we should mm. let them to uh, play yeah, and, right. yeah. So this is another thing and you see in as I said in Asian Games or Olympic Games I have read mm -hmm. earlier in newspaper that one of the um, gold medal uh, winner in Asian Games, mm -hmm. uh, his plight is such that he is uh, selling puchka, what is called golgappa, on the street. Okay. So you see, after winning a gold medal, his uh, what is his position? So they don't have any security in terms of their livelihood. So that mm -hmm. is why the people rarely go for that. They have to do only on their own. They don't get any support from the government. It is that's what happens. Only in cricket, you see, and now in football also, they are getting support from uh, uh, not government, but the cricket board. They the, are enough money. So everybody wants to go in that field. Mm, mm, in that's a, right. From IPL, you know that how much they are earning. Earning, yeah. Yeah. That's right. All right. Okay. So. It's almost time, so let me uh, stop with the discussions now. So quick feedback before we wrap up the session. So first yeah. and foremost, your English is very, very good, I would say. Um, I rarely, uh, I was able to spot an error. The only feedback that I have written down for you is that to work a little bit more on your vocabulary, because I think that is one area where you can focus a little bit more on. Mm -hmm. And um, especially when you use words like watcher, because what you, you instead you can use viewer so there are yes, better right. substitutes for the words yeah. that you're using so yes. um if you can just work a little bit more on your vocabulary then that will be great and uh, what i would suggest for the for improving vocabulary is um, two things one um you could probably 
uh, pick up five random words from dictionary or from google every day and uh, understand the meaning and try to make sentences with it and start using those sentences as part of your day to day conversations and uh, or you could probably um, uh, you know in your whenever you're free uh, if you could listen to some audio books or podcasts actually um, you know uh, i'm uh, all these things that you have just said <laughs> actually i'm doing this regularly on okay. regular basis even today also i pick up so many words when <laughs> even at office if i get some time so uh, i just <laughs> google it and find the um, synonyms meaning. or better words uh, yeah. mm-hmm. so whatever new words uh, comes my way i just immediately google it and i just see the meaning and then try to make sentence i'm mm-hmm. doing it but still i have to go a long way yeah so also one thing so whenever you like make a note of those words mm-hmm. uh, keep revising them yeah. because you have to uh, remember them only then you will no uh, to use it when you speak so revising those words is also uh, yes. important so please try that uh, i think that will definitely work so you're already mm. doing great so those are just little tips uh, that i could give from my end sometimes so, yeah. out of frustration what i do that when i cannot uh, finish a particular sentence which is very hard for me so mm. i just want to mug it up <laughs> okay <laughs> repeating the sentence again and again <laughs> Mm. it's a <laughs> right. i hope i'll be able to do in future <laughs> definitely definitely mm. definitely all right okay so i think that is it uh, thank you so okay. much for joining so it was great interacting okay, with same you same thank you yeah. thank you yeah you're most welcome all right take care good night bye bye okay, good night bye thank you